Are you ready for this sickness? Let's get into it! <laughs> In about two and a half hours. Oh, we got we got Billy from Economics and Comics YouTube channel. Sick. We got Billy's arm. Billy's arm. Right there. Right there. For those of you at home, there's also a screen like over to the side of the camera that we can see ourselves, and it's kind of distracting. <laughs> Subscribe if you oh like Hi. everything comics, anything comics, and I, my guests, are here. We are going to join the fun. We are good. We got uh, Demon Structus Phil says Swarm. Swarm. Hey there, Miss Sapphire. Hey. <laughs> cool. Go. I'm, Sounds uh, good. Glad you guys are joining us. So part of the uh, the biggest, most time consuming part of becoming Lady Death is painting. So we're going to get jump right into it here. One of the like most common questions I get is what do I use to paint? So I use this little thing here. I'm going to zoom it in here. So it's called Paradise Paint. It's by Mayron. It's a water-based paint. Um, so it's what I'm going to be using today, so I'm going to show you guys all my techniques. You guys are going to get to see exactly what I do. And this is Sapphire Nova. Yeah. That's me. I need a sponge though. There we go. Alrighty, so things that I need. That is not my sponge. I need my paint. I've got a makeup brush. Usually I like a brush like this because it's, it's short, it's got a wide bristle, but I don't like it when it's too long, it gets too streaky. Um, and obviously I don't want it to be too small because then it, you know, doesn't cover as much. So that's kind of my first base paint is this brush. And then second, got a little makeup wedge here. I use that to blot out all the paint so then you don't get streaks or blotches or all that fun stuff. So we're going to start uh -oh. stripping. Woohoo! Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That's how it's got to be because Lady Death does not wear a lot of clothes. <laughs> so. I have my little trusty uh, Coffin Comics cup here. So, have to wet my brush a little because it is a water-based paint. That's what makes it active. So just a little bit of water on the brush, swirl it around, and just paint it on. Nice and simple as that. Now I am starting at the top of my legs because Lady Death usually wears some kind of a taller boot. In this case, my boot arrives just above the knee. But I always want to make sure that I get everywhere that I think is even going to be possibly seen because a lot of times costumes shift. So I don't want to, you know, have a beautifully painted skin and then have my costume shift and you get a nice patch of regular skin. <laughs> so I make sure that I get down anywhere I think that could possibly be seen. So I always like to start with the base and work my way up because now I don't have to bend over places that I've already painted. So uh, I... Phil Wachler says hello. Hi, Phil Wachler. Onesies are live at ladydeathstore.com, code ECON. Sweet. So, basically my first coat of paint, I am just gonna brush on everything. <laughs> like, doesn't matter where it goes. If you notice, it's like way streaky right now. I don't know how well you can see on the camera, but it is really streaky. So this is not at all how I want it to end up, but don't worry, that's not how it's going to be. This is just my first coat. If I need to move the camera, let me know. Okay, like, pull away. Oh. No, you're fine. I know, that's but you know, she says she goes everywhere, so. She's going to go everywhere, yeah. Well, that's when yeah. I need to move the camera, is what I'm Yeah, we, we, we planned for it. Okay. It won't be <laughs> anything that is not YouTube appropriate, S. Yeah. All the important I mean, bits are covered, folks. Oh, yeah. yeah, we are, you know, gonna get a little close and personal here because that's, you know, part of it. <laughs> Lady Death just likes to, you know, let it all show. So it's cool like that. <laughs> but so my first coat is usually just like. I just throw it on. And for those of you that don't know, there's a nice little mirror right underneath the camera. So I'm totally watching everything that I'm doing. And trying not to watch the little screen over here because that is going to throw me off. <laughs> you could angle it. Yeah. No, the screen, uh, your screen. So she doesn't look at it. <laughs> oh, he's talking. I'm yeah. talking about oh, no, I know. Get 
get in everywhere. This is definitely an interesting stream. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? You know what? I can't tell you the number of people that ask me exactly what I do. This is what I do. And when I tell you everybody that I'm kind of doing like gymnastics to uh, you know, get it all, I wasn't lying. Now understand I'm here with Sapphire's husband. Prince. Hello. So he will kill me. <laughs> I don't know if you'll kill the Batman though, and we might see the Batman. <laughs> this is cosplay, the man. I want to see the Batman. He's Jamaican. <laughs> I love it. Alrighty, and there are my two legs half done. Now, usually I do, for con, I'll usually do like three coats because it needs to last all day. For today, I'm probably only going to do two. But as I go back over, now this is where the important, like, hard stuff comes in because, like I said, the first time, and I don't know how well you can see this at home, my paint looks incredibly streaky. And that is obviously not what I want it to be. Yeah, it all depends on where the light's hitting. The, the, the light up top here yeah. in here is super bright because normally they have a bunch of the amazing Coffin Comics comics in here. Yeah, but so... now I take that little makeup wedge and I start the blotting process. So just that little, is that just enough for one, or do you need to use more than one of these? The, my palette? Yeah. Um, I've already done three full Lady Death paints out of that. So I will easily get this one done out of that, and probably one more. So one palette lasts me a long time. And honestly, like, you get them on Amazon, they're prime, so, you know, I can have it in two days. And they're usually like fifteen to twenty dollars per palette, depending on color. Someone has to and do powder uh, when you're done. So I do not usually. Um, you can use setting powder or setting spray. Um, if you sweat a lot, I highly recommend it. Um, I do not like. I really don't tend to sweat. Actually, if you can see right now, there's like a little glisten it's on my here. nose. It's, it's hot, hot in here. here. It is hot in here. <laughs> I almost want to just crack that door, but that's good. like the most I ever sweat. <laughs> so, um, I don't usually use a powder, but you can. Um, it helps just set it so it doesn't go, um, you know, so it doesn't start to streak or move or anything like that. Um, also, a setting spray works really good too. I really like Ben Nye's Final Seal. Um, so like I said, if you're planning on, you know, doing it all day, you sweat a lot, those things are really good. I usually like spray my armpits because I'll sweat under my armpits. <laughs> um, but that's really about it. So you see, like I'm using the sponge, it really blots out those lines so you don't get the streaky. Now if you see, like I've got like a patch here, I don't really care. That part's going to get hidden underneath the boot. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm going to focus on the parts that get seen. And if I have a little bit, like there's a little extra here and a little bit lighter here, I can kind of drag things over. Ask how many cosplays do you usually do a year? A lot. <laughs> um, so uh, my... Well, I guess the question would be to find that question a little more. Yeah. How many different okay. cosplays does she wear? Or how many cosplays does she make a year? I yeah. guess would, like would events. be... Yeah, so I mean, we do roughly like 30 events a year. Or more. Um, a lot. Yeah. Um, well, 30 shows, because that's not including events, like we come here and do, you know, like Brian's, you know, Kickstarters and things like that. So, you know, I mean, I'll dress in costume, probably a good, what would you say, like 15, 20 times a month? Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. just at home. <laughs> no, no, actually, uh, rarely at home, unless I'm, like, trying things on. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'd say w we feature guests at about 20, 30 plus conventions a year as guests. And then, as far as, like, wearing costumes and stuff like that, we do events like this. I mean, we're probably... She's probably in costume, like, two times a week or so. So, yeah. I, I'd say probably closer to, like, eight, ten times a month. What's my um, like, depends I mean, on Because it depends on how many, like, cons we're going to. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I mean, if, some days it's, like, three-day cons. Yeah, three-day cons, two-day cons. Event. And then, like, like, two weeks from now, we've got a, a photo shoot we're doing with the Birds of Prey from the Arizona Renaissance Festival. Oh, cool. So we're going to have, like, the Eagles and Falcons, so we do events like that, we do events like this, like, there's all sorts of different things we do that, that add to that. Um, let's see here, you got some questions on here. Uh, Ghost Rider says, what up, Derek? Hey, Ghost Rider. 
Um, Phil wants to know, do we have a cosplay cover in the future? Um, we're, we're in talks yeah. with Kaufman about that. Uh, she yeah. does have another cosplay cover coming out that we just announced. Yeah. Um, but I'm not going to talk about that here because we're on the Kaufman Street. <laughs> um, and um, then let's see. Uh, Ghost Rider says, always wanted to cosplay. Do um, it. Totally should. And I need to put together a good coughing cosplay for myself. Tired of Marvel and want to wreck the sworn. So Hell still. yeah. Yeah, do, uh, oh, I'm drawing a blank. What's the Smith dude? The one who makes oh, Lady Death's sword. Oh, cremation. Or yes. Crem yes. Cremator. Yeah. Um, I'm so bad with names. I, you know, I want to see a good Haxorus cosplay. I think he is freaking awesome. And so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> um... Also, I would love, love, love to see somebody cosplay Michael. Oh, there is a picture of Michael and Lady Death, like, making out, and it's one of the sexiest things ever. <laughs> I really like Michael. <laughs> so, um, what other cosplay do you, do you do? They were asking, like, what other characters? Ooh, great question. Um, I cosplay a lot. I have roughly 50 cosplays at home. Um, that I can pull out of my closet at any given time. Um, some of my most popular I do, obviously, Lady Death. Um, I've got three full different versions of Lady Death. Um, I do Gamora, I've done Starfire, I've done... Just came out with a Red Sonja. Um, what else? Ash from League of Legends. Uh, I know, let's it's see. To... Space Yoko from no, Burn Logon, um, Trunks, your Piccolo, Majin Buu. Yeah, I've done a lot of Dragon Ball Z. Um, let's see, who else do we got? Uh, uh, you've done the Sanderson Sisters. Oh, yeah, that was this um, last Halloween. I came out with a Corpse Bride. Oh, yeah, um, Corpse Bride. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah, um, no, it was a gorgeous photo shoot. She looks amazing. Um, that's actually really funny. We we found a full wedding dress for God. It was like ten bucks. $10. And, yeah, like it was like a six hundred dollar wedding dress at Goodwill, and we're like, we're going to dye this. Yeah. So, well, the wedding dress. It's so funny because it started out with like these like giant sleeves and like full length, and I like chopped it to pieces. I dyed it. I had to like hand dye it because it has to have this beautiful ombre to it. So it was quite the process, but a lot of fun. Um, I cut it up and. <laughs> I made bones for it because she has like a bone arm. Nellie L from uh, Bleach. Yeah. We've done. You've done. Uh, <laughs> so many Black Widow. We yeah. we have literally a, like a, 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 an eight foot like closet that I have to like every every time we move to a new place or whatever, I literally have to go to Home Depot and buy a one inch steel rod and build a whole new closet rack in our closets because our stuff is too heavy. And so we literally have a eight foot long closet full of stuff. We have an entire photography room that's just full of the mm. costumes. Yeah, it's full budget. Um, we've got. Oh God, what else have you done? There's so many. Like, yeah. like it just gets. I it, mean, there's like simple ones too. Like I just finished a Laura Croft. Like I haven't even shot that one yet. Oh, that'd be cool. You know what's cool? I was talking to her about uh, possibly us doing an event in January because I'm doing this event where I want a cosplayer to come and. Mm -hmm. Be there for the final end of the year thing. So, what would you guys like, Sapphire Nova, if this works, to be in January Dude, for Comic good. Artist Battle Finals? Uh, well, they answered that question. Uh, Phil says, must be the name of picks, and I'll work on a piece of things together. And it's not just the costume that is great, but the way you become the character. Definite respect. And uh, Ghost Rider says, Tomb Raider is the shit. I kid you not. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys will get to see a little bit later on, like, my process into getting into the character, too. So, because as you can see, uh, Lady Death is very, very far from my real personality. Even though she is the coolest thing ever, I am anything but cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I you am are fun, good. I am quirky, but I am not cool. <laughs> Kickstarter was good. I remember we turned the camera to her and she's like, What's going on, fiends? Or something like that. Yeah, like, oh yeah. man, she is all, she's invested. Yeah, yeah. and ta-da, my legs are done. It's actually so. really funny with the question with all yeah. the costumes we have. Uh... Yeah, if you can see too, like, I get like a little bit on my, like on my clothes as I go. It's okay, this stuff is all very, very washable, so it'll come off. So, yay, now for the next part. <laughs> Told you, I'm stripping. 
<laughs> Pretty much. I gotta ask. When you guys pressed the button, did you have to enter over 18? Because I think I changed it for this. <laughs> I have no idea to Hashtag be honest. Hashtag not kid friendly. Yeah. Make sure I'm covered there. Yeah, part of my job is to make sure her boobs stay in the bra yeah. at most events. Great job. I, I, I try. Hey, I try. I put what? a lot of effort into that. It's, the one thing <laughs> it's a hard job, but somebody's got to do it. Yeah. It's the one thing he gets to do, you know? Uh, we did a photo shoot up in Flagstaff, and uh, that we're actually going to have pictures coming out here shortly that she looks amazing as Red Sonia. But uh, one of our models was uh, Emma Frost. And oh, the, the, the way the Emma Frost top works is like the only way to adjust it is you literally just have to grab the boob, grab the top, and <laughs> shove one down and pull the other up. Yeah, so that's true. That's all I was doing all weekend. And I gave him permission to. <laughs> so yeah, there's a there's a lot of work that goes into the cosplays. Like th this is one of the things we we tell a lot of people about because like they don't realize like. One of the things we see a lot in cosplay is people um, being down on themselves if they don't look as good as the professional cosplayers or, or, or so on and so forth. And one of the things I tell everybody is, like, we make it look easy because this is all we do. I can yeah. see that happening. You, you, you know? I do this a lot. So, like, you know, when, when someone's starting out doing this body painting, they're not going to get it done as quick as Sapphire is. It's not going to be as smooth and as simple. Um... But she's also, you know, like she said, she probably paints up like this two, three, four times a month, yeah. you know, and all of that just, you know, adds on to it, you know. I have done this easily over a hundred times. Yeah, I mean, this like is... Like this part here, I mean, it's got to be really difficult. <laughs> That's... Thus the full-length mirror. Yeah. Oh, no, it tripped. That's okay. Um, let's see... Bill says we will cover our eyes if needed, no peeking, <laughs> and Ghost Rider says a gentleman never peeks at a lady. <laughs> Liars. <laughs> what what we'll we'll trust you one guys. of these, you know, the, the little through the hand. <laughs> I know, right? No peeking. I'm not looking. Yeah, so generally my back gets covered by mm -hmm. the cape. Mm -hmm. So I don't usually put a lot of effort into doing my back, but I do make sure it's done because, like I said, Everything can shift, so I don't ever want there to be a patch that looks, you know, completely undone. So I don't usually put, like, a bunch of, like, coats on the back. I don't spend a lot of time with the smoothing. I do a little bit, but I know overall it's really not going to be seen. Yeah, it's hard to see all this, the, like, I, I know you guys can't see it on the camera just because the way the lighting is in here. Um... But she's actually a lot more streaky than the camera is making this look right now. We can see it on mine. You can see it well, but yeah, we're we're, we're using the little webcam, you guys. So is that the Brio or the nine two two? Because if it's the I don't know, you're just <laughs> saying words, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there might be a zoom option. Maybe I don't think so. Though. I don't know. It's really just this bright yeah, light in the bit. middle is just blotting her out. Um. Yeah, I already look white before we even started. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> You're super shiny right now, Zach. So that's about all the effort I put into my back, just that it's done. Um, let's see, Ghost Rider says, Sapphire rocks the cape look. She does. Ooh, I love capes. Capes are so cool. Capes need to come back in fashion. I like... know. Well, like, you just <laughs> never feel more epic than you walk around and, like, a cape billows behind you. Like, it really is just the most fun ever. It is. Well, it's like she just found this really cool flowy, like, dressy thing oh, it is really at, at the store, and she picked it up, and, like, it's like a little mini half cape sort of thing, yeah. and she really loves it. I do, because, again, it just makes you feel so epic. Like, same thing, I made a, uh, a storm cape, like, eons ago, like X-Men Storm, and when I first made it, like, you know, I just made it to look right. Like, I wasn't thinking any kind of functionality or anything like that, and when I walk, it, like, billows behind me and I was like wow I feel so epic and beautiful capes really just do that so this is one of the fun things I got my belly button pierced like what eight months ago now and I will say it has changed the way I body paint because it like affects the way I paint around it which is very interesting so I had to learn how to like maneuver around it 
And one of these days when it's fully healed, I really want like a coffin or a skull or something really cool to wear for Lady Death. But for right now, it's still my sapphire one. Uh, let's see. Uh, Phil says, seriously, I like how you pay attention to all the detail when cosplaying, bringing the character truly to life. Um, Abriana hopped on and said, Hi. capes are literally the best. 100% <laughs> agree. And she goes, oh my god, that storm cape is the greatest cape I've ever worn. <laughs> Yeah. Well, thank you. I appreciate the, you know, noticing my attention to detail. That's one thing, like, I really do try. Like, when I first considered even cosplaying Lady Death, like, I knew there was no way I was going to do her until I figured out how to, you know, how to be able to paint her, how to be able to do the right contacts, and all of that, because I wanted her to be right. Like, I wasn't going to do her a disjustice, you know? Injustice? I don't know what the proper word is there. I think it's an injustice. Right? Injustice, yeah. Or an injustice. An injustice, do, yeah, I don't know. Don't. Do her an injustice. Yeah. There we yeah. go. I knew I said it wrong. But no, I mean, it's true. It's one of the things we bring up a lot of times with people is like, really think about the character you're, you're, you're cosplaying, how like, how they would act, how they would respond to things. Um, because one of the things we see a lot, and we get it a lot when we're making costumes for people, is when someone comes to us and they go, I want to look like this character. I'm like, that's really cool. And that works in a video game. But when you wear that in real life, stuff doesn't function that way. You know, like straps don't work like that. Things don't work, like, you know, I need to, like, parts don't connect there. and stuff like that. And, th and that's one of the things we... Don't, don't take down the camera. Like that? Uh, Can I do it like that? Hold on. <laughs> I'm messing Technical everything difficulties. up. She's, she's messing everything up. Sorry, well, uh, could, otherwise I was going to have to, like, squat down to do this next part. <laughs> I'm going to have to. I'm just going to have it. to hold it. Okay. Oh, you know what? So right around now is Maybe when... Maybe the leg. You could balance it on the, the tripod leg. I tried that, but the problem is, is it doesn't... That so, way. guys, this is yeah, one of the very few tips. times... Okay, I see. Actually, that might work, actually. If you put it against the table, too. Yeah. Yeah, that worked. You get to see me. Here's yep, my so real much. hair. Absolutely not one stitch of makeup on. You get to see my real eyes. It's crazy. Most people don't ever get to see this of me, so... But now the hair is going away. I was wondering away. how you guys did that. That is how easy a wig cap can go on. Do it again. Start over. So wig caps are really simple, and yeah. people put them on wrong so, all yeah. the time. You want these lovely ones that have the hole in both sides because they are the nicest, easiest thing ever. Or cut the end off the ones that yeah. are the full cap ones. You really can. So I just throw it around my neck, pull out all the hair. So now it's just strictly around my neck. There's always a solid line on it, and then there's a side that's like more open or the side that you cut. You want the solid line to sit along your hairline, and then I just pull all the hair in. And now I have really thin hair, so that works really, really easy, but even with thick hair, it works just fine. Because now you can smoosh the hair all around. And ta-da! It sits flat. And now, my hair is gone. Ta-da! I see a puppy got your neck. Oh, I don't know. Oh! Oh, did he? He was snuggling with me this morning. My Aries was a snuggler this morning. Ghost Rider says, nothing to see here, just some tech issues. Move along. <laughs> Exactly. Trying to help. Yeah, I'm just giving up. <laughs> How's that? Sorry, I messed the whole thing up. Here. It's all okay, my there fault. There we go, there we go. That, that's yeah, working. That's working. I can stand. Actually, will you do me a favor just for What's up? one second? You need to, what, what do you need me to hold? Well. Or grab, or touch. <laughs> just keep it on her, and then, uh. <laughs> Yeah, you go. Woohoo! Cosplay the man! Batman. The Batman is here! You're from straight from Jamaica, man! Chilling with Lady Death! Woo! Cop oh. <laughs> Not too exciting, they don't care! <laughs> <laughs> I get it, man! Trust me, I get it! Oh, how about Harley? Um, oh, I have done a Suicide Squad Harley. Um, I think that's really... I think Harley would be... If you could do it, that would be fine. Really. Yeah, there's one actually... Do you want to talk about the one that we... Oh, we yeah. Made? Well, so, we've never really done Harley Quinn, because we try to do characters that not 9 billion other people are doing. 
Yeah. Because, like, like, we always get, why don't you guys have Deadpool? Well, because there's a billion Deadpools in yeah. every convention. Or there's, you like, know? a few that, like, we've done, we've done a couple like that, but, yeah. like, you know, usually there's something, like, like, Laura Croft, mm. a billion people have right. done her, but her costume was so stupidly easy to throw together that it was, like, it took me, like, 30 minutes. So, yeah. I was like, you know what, why not? It'll be a fun photo shoot, I'm gonna have fun rolling around the desert, it'll be great. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, essentially what we do is, like, we want, all the costumes we make, we, I mean, we're a custom costume company, so we sell them. Yeah. So we don't oh. do anything, that, yeah, yeah, we, we that, that's what we actually do. Yeah. Uh, people often forget it, but <laughs> that's what we actually do is we're a custom costume company. What's the name of your company? company? Superheroes Unlimited. Unlimited. Okay. So we actually make anything someone sends us a picture of, armor, weapons, props, 3D prints, molds, fabrics, everything. And so that often comes up. And so all of the costumes we she wears to cons and everything like that we have available for sale and listed, and so we try not to do stuff that like you can go to China for thirty bucks and get the same thing. Sure. Because it's just you know not worth selling. And we do have a Harley Quinn we want to do. Um, it's just very involved. Uh, Billy Tucci has a uh, a character card set essentially. Where he's got like a Joker, a King, a Queen, and things like that, and he's got a got the picture here somewhere. Um, I'll pull it up. You guys can probably see it on camera. Uh, Billy, <laughs> Chuchi, Harley. I want you guys to know you guys are seeing like everything, all my lovely little jiggles and all that fun stuff that I'd rather people not see. I want you to know how much I love you and I'm showing you all of it. <laughs> okay, so this is the Billy Tucci Harley Quinn we're looking to do. Yeah, that's sick. And uh, it's a uh, Harley Quinn Harlequin. And that's one we want to do because it's something that nobody's done. It, it, the technical level of it's pretty high. And that's essentially how we decide what costumes we're doing is is it really going to showcase our abilities as a company yeah. and things along those lines? Because like she said, Laura Croft, it's 30 minutes in a Goodwill run. You know, anybody can make it. So like, there's no point for us to do that. Um, and then that's really what we focused on. And honestly, that's one of the original reasons that we got drawn to Lady Death too, was mm -hmm. Lady Death has so many amazing yeah. outfits well, and costumes and designs and this was one of my first, and it's kind of gotten redone and rebuilt and such, but it was one of the first, <laughs> that like... That thing has been so worked on. I know, it's but sick. I love it. It's so beautiful. And, like, I'm so proud. I made all the bones and everything like that to it. So, like, I'm very proud of this piece, but it's... I, I mean, mean that, that piece in particular, it was war blood wood glue, uh -huh. and then that cracked, so then we epsiloned it. And then Saf handmade all those bones. Those are actually all Warbla scraps we had. Yeah. So she literally handmade every one of those bones here. I'll actually, pull. I'll be, well, I'll be right back. You keep going, doing your thing yeah. over there. I gotta check in over there. We'll be right back. So if you guys we gotta check on the onesies. There's 15 minutes. On the onesies, ladydeathstore.com, code econ, free comic. Let's check it out. Hey! <laughs> right, like, there was a, like the ghost members are his little pocket house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's such a great experience. Like, so much so much fun with the um, with ghosts. But yeah, Brian Polito knows everyone and everyone. Brian's a legend here in Phoenix and all over the world. So it's great. So if you want to go to a show with Brian Polito, expect the unexpected. That's because, true. Uh, it's always a lot of fun. That is but, really true. Right on, man. No! <laughs> <laughs> Quick check in onesies 15 True. minutes or two, three or two, two forty five. So two forty five. Two forty five. Onesies just there. Like, Mendoza fans. Guys, one of these store. They want me to go back. Nice three pack. Go back, man. It's cool, man. Just we wanted to check in. Homage classic edition. Homage silver. Yeah. Poor Joel. Hi, welcome back. So I had to do the quick check in. Oh, good. Uh, let's see. Bill says, how do you come up with details, ideas for your cosplays? They are all phenomenal. Oh, thanks. Um, honestly, a lot of it's just like how, I don't know, like sometimes it's like I'm scrolling through Instagram and I see a new artist has posted a picture. Um, sometimes they're like little ideas that spring to me. Like I made an I Dream of Starfire and... I forgot about that. 
Yeah, and so like it was, you know, an original design that I came up with. I, you know, combined the two characters, and it was literally just I was watching I Dream of Jeannie one day, and I was like, it was about time that I was like, I don't really want to, you know, keep wearing my Starfire costume because I had worn her to so many conventions at that point, and I was just like, you know what? I think those two would work great together. And well, and then we were like, going to go meet ideas. Jeannie too. She was yeah, at a convention we were guesting at. And so we met, uh, what is it, Barbara? Bar Barbara Ethan, is it? I, feel like I, I think so, something like that. Making that up. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we, we did that. Yeah, I mean, you can probably up. speak the comics there. PG-13 here. <laughs> we can go R. <laughs> No, 18 I, I, plus now. Yeah, that's what they said. 18. Is, you have to be 18 to watch this video. <laughs> really? Well, then I might still be getting carded. I got carded to go see rated R movies up until I was 25. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimately, they would not let me. One time I almost didn't get in because I had forgotten my ID at home. <laughs> yeah, we had a few few movies we almost got turned away from, and I was like, we're old enough people. <laughs> I was like, the reason I don't have my ID is because I was out at a bar last night. <laughs> <laughs> so true. So I never really paint my full ears because ears kind of freak me out and I don't want the paint in my ears. But I will paint just the bottoms of them. Again, most times it's covered by a wig, but you never know. That could be the little shift and I don't want people to see any part of me that looks not white. Just like, I'm gonna paint the back of my neck. I'm not gonna paint up here because that's all gonna be covered by the cape. All the time. Um, Phil says fingers ready to cover eyes if we have a wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> Don't worry, we're past most of the uh, potential wardrobe malfunction areas. So then, what are we doing during the next showing? Uh, I have to do all my makeup. <laughs> oh, you're doing all your face stuff? Yeah. So this time it's just the, the, the body? Yep. Okay. So I'll show you what goes into all of the makeup in of it, and then maybe we'll let people choose which version of Lady Death they want to see me in. Yeah. And uh, we'll get ready, and then... Uh... Comics and more NJ say afternoon all, and uh, Ghost Rider says only you can prevent wardrobe malfunctions. <laughs> hey, you know what? I do my best, and you know, short of photo shoots, I don't think I've ever really had a wardrobe malfunction. So I'm gonna knock on wood right now, though, <laughs> because now that I've she that says out, that everything falls off. I know, I'm like now that I've put that out into the universe, I'm you know probably screwed. No, I don't think we've. Yeah. God, we're coming up on six years here, and I don't think we've ever had any, like, major costume malfunctions at a show. Anybody? Knock, knock, knock. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> do you got, Do you have, like, I know it's a silly question, but do you have, like, cosplay enemies on the set? On the, on the, um, on the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the circuit? The yeah. circuit. Uh, <laughs> there's some people that I would rather not associate with, but you know what? I... Again, I believe in putting positivity out into the universe, so I'm not going to talk about yeah, that. Yeah, that was dumb. I, don't I, I mean, I, I will say... I've seen not, it, though. Yeah. They're, yeah. One of the things that constantly comes up in cosplay is cosplay toxicity. And the reality is, is, like, any business or, or, or any any realm of life you're in really has just people who are negative and toxic. Believe and, me, I know. You know, so it doesn't matter whether you're in Hollywood, whether you're in cosplay, whether you're working an office job, a nine to five, whatever, it doesn't matter. There's always just bad people yeah. out there. <laughs> and the only thing I would say with cosplay is like, there are negative things that people do to gain benefits in the community, which are terrible. But the reality is, is like, hey, believe me, I know. you know, me. manufactured dramas, things like that. God, but, you're, all, I, yeah. you're with me here. <laughs> and, and, and we've seen it, we've dealt with it, we've had to put up with it. But honestly, at this point, like, thankfully, probably, I'd say the last, like, three years, we yeah. haven't really had to deal there with it. We got, as much. we got big enough that, like, just nobody starts the sure. stupid drama. Like, it, it, it's high school drama is really what it yeah. is. It's always high school drama in the community. And I'm like, sure there's people that want to and all that. Doing but YouTube then, and stuff. Like, I, yeah. Believe me, I'm dealing mm -hmm. with it. People don't think it is, but I just try. Uh-oh, FaceTime. Yep. So they asked, did you ever do a She-Hulk before? 
You know what, I have not, and it's one that I know a couple people have asked me to do. Um, so it is one I will probably do in the future, because again, it's kind of one of the ones like Laura Croft, where like, it's fairly simple to, to throw together. So, I probably will do it for a photo shoot. I doubt I will ever wear her to like, a convention or anything like that, just because technically it's not as complex. But I definitely do want to do her in the future. Have you done a little more to or is that too de detailed? Uh, that's well, a whole layer of issues. Yeah, yeah, I will say, so I'm actually in the process of making a Hell Witch as we speak. Oh, that'd be dope. Um, so that I am very excited about, and you guys can all bother Derek to into making my wing frame. Oh, I'm working on it. It's all his fault, he's the holdup. I'm working on it, people, I'm sorry. It's mostly done. Um, I need to finish a couple little details, but she's pretty well along. I just need to make the wings once the wing frame is made. And that's on Derek. Yeah. So blame uh, him. Essentially, we haven't done a lot of work though because of ethnicity issues. Yeah. Um, people don't like Zap's a white girl. Latina. She's not well, Latina, exactly. so it becomes black face. I think it's a whole. Well, especially she, you know, has a very the very sugar skull look, and but that's and how you can all do that. It's, it's very well exactly. But the point is, it's it's um. It's not that it's too it's difficult just to do. Cultural is the problem. You're worried it's, about. Social outrage is. That's just. Yeah. I hate that we're. I gotta be honest. I hate the word that. Uh, word <laughs> right now. But you know, whatever. Uh yeah. I mean, it it is what it is though. I mean, we we are looking for a model to model it that would be culturally appropriate for it. Um, because that is something that like it's a thing, and I I I get both sides of the arguments mm -hmm. hands down. Like like nobody is necessarily in the wrong in regards to that. Have you heard um, of the new character called Punchline yet? Yes. What about that? Uh, from what I've seen of Punchline, we're probably, we might do Punchline for like a photo shoot. Yeah. But she's not going to be a con one because again, it's just that super simple, easy to do. Yeah. You know, there's a billion of them out there. Like, one of the big things, I, I mean, and Lady Death is a prime example of it, is be original, be unique, be mm -hmm. creative. Yeah. You know, be one of a kind. Like, why join the herd? And that's essentially, like, what we really, we try to focus on that, like, because there's just so many of those, like, you know, Harley Quinn's, Deadpool's, Captain America's, like... Someone says Scream. Scream? <laughs> Venom, the, the, the girl, the... Oh, okay. oh, I haven't heard of that That one. would be, like, I don't know how they can make Scream, like, good looking, <laughs> you know, because she's, like... Adriana says would be interested in work up. Which blade? And I thought Aubriana would be. I thought, favorite. yeah, Aubriana, I thought of you for that one too. I have so wanted to do, to have Saf do a witch blade. Like. I also kind of wanted to do a Chaotica. Yeah. See, like. Brian just needs to stop coming out with cool characters. Yeah, right? Yeah, that, 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 <laughs> um, that's the um, problem. Actually, I'm working on, as we speak, a. Um, a, an original drawing by Jimmy or James Mulligan, um, who did a Jessica Rabbit as a Hollywood uh, Hollywood Towers hotel, like the Tower of Terror yeah. kind of Jessica. So she's got a really cute little yeah, I like, like that possibly. like bellhop kind of dress. So I'm actually working on that one as we speak, and that one well, that should be, be done by option. next week. That might be a good option. So, all right, how we what do we time it check? It is two forty. Okay, sweet. So we got like five minutes, and then we're gonna take a little break. Uh, let's see. And then when we come back, I'm gonna show you guys all about like doing a face. I'm probably gonna put on a cape because you know that's so much more than what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna go running around out there? Let's see. Ghost Rider says asking Brian not to be cool is like asking a fish to breathe air. <laughs> and it Adriana is true. says I'm super excited to see that Jessica Rabbit costume. Yay! Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah that one should Rabbit. be really neat. Um, but I mean, in reality, that's about it for my body painting. So, you know, right, you can see, I, yeah, the full scope here as we, uh, <laughs> get stuff a little closer to can it so like we can see, I, I, I'm trying to get yeah. like a, there's like a good, no like, good like light, but I know like <laughs> your face looks like a thousand times wider than like your it chest really and then your legs look dim and like, but right, I well. promise I'm feeling a little royal purple. So I start, you know, she's got very defined features, so I like to make sure that, like, I've got a really strong kind of brow bone. So 
that's usually my like darkest color. There. Pretty good considering. Yeah, okay. Good, because again, this is a fairly weird lighting in here, but that's okay. I'm usually pretty good at this point that I could do this while driving, which shh, I've never done that before ever. Because I put on eyelashes while driving. I don't recommend it. <laughs> Brushes. This is half the battle of getting ready for Lady Death is finding the right brush that you want. Where is that brush? <laughs> Hot days. You guys want to see? I have a nice little makeup case. It has kisses on it. So it's fun and pink because I like pink. <laughs> but I always have a nice little makeup case. I always travel with my little bag. I always have like a little bag like something like this that comes with me to shows that usually I keep like that palette that I showed you in the last video um, you know in case I need to do any kind of touch-ups or anything like that um, I bring my contacts along because some days you know what I I always wear my contacts throughout the entire show day but sometimes as soon as the show closes I want those suckers out <laughs> so uh, comics more says I need that case <laughs> I think you might have found it at like a Goodwill or something. Yeah, we are super lucky in our Goodwill finds, honestly. And it's all stuff you can't find online for some reason. I love meeting me and my friends sometimes when there's like half off Goodwill Saturdays. We go Goodwill hunting, but I'm shh. And we'll go hit up like several different Goodwills and, you know, find cool stuff like that. Because, yeah, a good makeup case, it goes a long way. I like need makeup cases. But like, you know, generally like I'll take just like this to a con with me. That way like, you know, I don't have so much to carry around. But, you know, I always keep the essentials in there. Like, you know, fake nails. <laughs> Nail glue, I usually have eyelash glue. You know, here's my eyelash glue. Um, always important in my Lady Death makeup bag. My challenge coin. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah. Anybody else got this? I'm challenging you now. <laughs> Comic says, Phil won't let me look at purses anymore. <laughs> you know what? It's That's... raining. Oh. Or maybe we got hail again, just like Fiend Fest. Oh, that would be crazy. You know what? It seems like every time we do something here at, at headquarters, that there's always some kind of storm going on. And I don't know what that says about headquarters. <laughs> but maybe that makes it that much more awesome. Okay. It's just rain this time. Just rain? Yeah, oh. Fiend Fest, we got full hail. Whether or not I'm on these follow-up coffin events. Was it Mesa Amphitheater? Or Mesa... Yeah, Mesa Theater? Convention Center. Yeah, like, right. yeah, literally, like, we did... It was in, what, February? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's February last time. year, and it literally just, like, actual hail, like, like pea-sized hail coming down in, in Mesa, Arizona. <laughs> Mesa gets crazy-ass weather. We get a lot of... a little table right here, so I have to, like, maneuver around it, because I need to see this up close. <laughs> Those um, microbursts. Microbursts. So. Microbursts are terrifying. Uh, I watched one shred at, at like a, a trailer once. Oh, I don't doubt it. They're vicious. Invisible tornadoes are like the most terrifying <laughs> thing on the planet. There we go. And then, because again, she's usually pretty decent at this point. Like, I'm going to do some under a lot of uh, costumes and stuff. I won't do under eyeliner just because it's. Oh, now that I'm up closer, oh, hold on. I'm like, oh, gee, I missed some spots. We're going to go back to the paint. <laughs> huh. Let's see. I think that helps a little. Yeah. Can you guys see a little better? You can see a little better, I think. Huh. Oh, yeah. How about that? I might miss my nose. So I always go back and check. I have to, like, get caught up my nose. It's fun. <laughs> Don't have white everywhere, folks. I know. There's all those places that, like, you know, I have to kind of, like, move my nose. <laughs> like, things you don't think about. Like, oh, yeah, there's a crease there. It would be kind of weird for it to not be there. There we go. That's better. Okay, back to 
be out of it. <laughs> Sorry, this is like close and personal stuff here. But again, she's got these very just defined features, so I like to make sure that I really don't think that actually helps me too. Get them really good in there. And then I love Lady Death because even though she is badass and cool, she is still very feminine. So I get to do fun things. Like I do little wings. Like I think it just makes my eyes look more defined. This is like an intense concentration. Thank you. I was like, oh no, no, I'm putting a shadow in front of my face. I want to love they're really heavy. <laughs> okay. I've been holding this for two days like this. Yeah, feel you. I can see your eyes really well in the camera though, like. Yeah, see, now that's how pretty that's coming out. Welcome back, Ghost Rider. Alrighty. Sorry guys, I know, making, making my camera guys work for it today. Um, this is definitely behind the scenes for sure. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is truly, like, this is all the kind of stuff that, like, I go through every day, whether I'm getting ready for a show or a shoot. Um, so now, the kind of fun thing is, is with contouring and stuff, you know, I can't use generic, like, contour palettes. Because, you know, if I use, like, a brown or a beige or any of those kind of ones, it's very odd against the light. Like, it's not how her contour would be. So I actually have, like, a little eyeshadow palette. Um, and this is how I do my contouring, is I use gray eyeshadow. Because she's got very defined cheekbones. Wow, it's amazing how fast that worked. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So, you know, just from here. And what it does is it makes it look, it gives that appearance of mm -hmm. having these very chiseled features. Which, I have a very, very round face. But I'll do that. Sometimes I'll even do a little bit on the chin line. Take away just a little uh, on that. Uh, Heather's asking, do you need to use waterproof makeup? Um, I do. I I don't. I don't. Dude. No, I don't. She became British suddenly, folks. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. Um, honestly, most of my stuff, as far as makeup goes, I, I'm cheap. <laughs> I like to buy makeup that I know is going to last me for a while. Like, I like to buy, you know, just generic stuff that you'll find in any, like, CVS or Walgreens or any of that. Like, I think this one's a uh, Wet n Wild. Um, especially because I go through so many different colors and shades and stuff like that. I don't want to invest in expensive makeup for every different, you know, skin tone or shade or any of that that I need. So Because yeah, I want to say, probably at this point you have about 12 different, like, almost full body paint costumes. And so yeah. that'd be 12 full palettes of colors, 12 full designs. Yeah. With I mean, very minimal crossover. Like, you know, because I'll even use it sometimes, like, for instance, I don't know how well you can see. Again, I've got, like, a little bit of, like, some discolorations, like, right around my eyes. Where, like, you know, like, right there. I didn't quite get in far enough with the makeup. I, you know, right there I didn't. Because I don't want to get too close with the body paint. So, like, a lot of times I'll find, you know, just, let's see. Again, the search for a brush. Um, Ghost Rider says, I did not think it was possible for me to respect cosplayers more, but then I see this level of dedication. Um, <laughs> all the time, Oops. Let's see, uh, Phil okay. says, is this the most complex cosplay you own? No. <laughs> um, it's, no, honestly, like, this is pretty on par with what I do for, like, Starfire, for Gamora, um, I'd say Gamora and, and Lady Death are pretty equivalent as far as like amount that I need mm -hmm. painting, the like level of um, uh, the level of like makeup needed and that kind of stuff. Um, Gamora also has like these gold circles around her eyes that like I have to completely fill in. Um, so I mean this is like pretty normal to be honest. I have some like I do Mystique from first class. So although mostly she's covered. She gets, you know, a little bit of blue through here and then all of the design on her face that I have to, I have to first go through, do a liquid latex, so you get kind of that 3D effect and then go back over it with the paint. 
When you um, say first class, you mean with the, like the X Men outfit on, right? Yeah, yeah, with yeah, the yellow yeah. bodysuit. Yeah. The other one's yeah. really hard, right? Yeah, which I actually really want to do for a photo shoot one of these days. Uh, what would you think the most complicated one we've got is? Then? Oh, um, I mean, <clears throat> Mystique's probably the most complicated makeup. Um, I also do like a lizard Gwen. Um, so I did like a crossover, like what if Gwen Stacy was the lizard in like the Spider-Man universe. And so like she's got like scales on her face and like scales up her arm. I've got like a lizard claw. Um, and so that's also pretty complicated makeup and wise, but the costume itself is pretty simple. Um, Lady Death was probably one of the most, especially like this breastplate, like some of her like leg armor, like again, her shoulder pauldrons, I've got like, um, you know, gauntlets and stuff. Like some of those pieces are some of the more complicated pieces I've made. Um, but yeah, I mean, and you know, any girl will tell you a lot of this stuff that I'm doing now is kind of what we do on a daily basis. So guys, have appreciation for what your girl does to look good. <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, Synthetic Human P35 says, how long does it usually take you to get ready in full costume? Um, usually somewhere between like two to two and a half hours for Lady Death. Um, cause after I get done with all of this, then there's still actually like the getting into costume process. So you want to say hi to everybody on our Instagram? Hi! Um, for those of you just turning in on... Superheroes Unlimited Instagram here. I am becoming Lady Death. So we've already made it through all of the face painting part, and now we are getting into the makeup part. So I am, uh, you know, working on my nose right now. Yeah, and if anybody's got any questions <laughs> on any of the feeds, feel free to ask them. That's yeah. what we're here for today. Um, right. Let's see. So. Uh, da, 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 that makes sense. It's incredible watching you get ready. We have only done a bit of makeup when I made Phil into a demon for Halloween Fest. Oh, that's cool. Um, Phil, what is the one character you have not done that you aspire to do? Ooh, good question. Um, well, like I said, I there's a couple that like I am in the process on. Like I am making Hell Witch now, which is one that I've been really wanting to do for a while. Um, one that once the wings are built for Hell Witch, I really want to do a Demona from Gargoyles. Um, there's so many. My list is so long. <laughs> like, it feels like every time I like knock a new costume out, like five more pop up because there's so many good costumes out there. Uh, um, CK Piercy asked, what do you use for the body paint? Um, so I showed this in the first video, but for those just tuning in, um, it's Paradise by Mehron, so it's a little palette, it comes like this, you can see it's kind of the back there, there's my little plug for Paradise, sponsored by Paradise, no I'm just kidding, right? <laughs> um, no I am not sponsored by Mehron, um, so this is all out of the goodness of my heart that I love them, um, no but it's a water based paint, um, I just use a little brush like this, and then a makeup wedge sponge, something like this. Um, to brush it all on, and I did all that in our first video, so you can always go back to the uh, Coffin Comics Lady Death feed and find that first video. Um, so you can see all of that process there. I did that all live for the camera. So it's always like going back and checking, I'm like, okay, I need some eyebrows. Because right now it doesn't look like I have any. So here's the other thing, that same little make that eyeshadow palette that I used before. Um, I'll use that same black for my eyebrows now. <laughs> man down, man down. Nap time. I don't blame. So, just to give you guys no, no, no. a little more appreciation, generally I do this before a show, which means if the show starts at 10 o'clock for everyone else to come, that means I need to be there by about 9 o'clock. Which means I usually start this around 6, 6.30. So I am usually doing this in, which by the way, 6.30 for me is way early. <laughs> I do not like getting out of bed early, but I do it for all of you because I love you. That's when I go to bed. <laughs> I know. Pretty right? much. Especially like at a con day, like it's a long day. I'm usually in like a hotel bathroom somewhere. 
<laughs> Trying not to wake up everybody else in the room. Yeah, everybody always forgets, like, since we're guests of a show, we like, we go out afterwards with, like, the celebrity guests and things like that, so it's the after parties where we gotta mingle, and so we don't really get to bed until, like, 2, 3 a.m. The Do girls... after parties still in cosplay? Uh, um, depends, depends where we're going, show. who we're hanging out with, um, because what, like, like, you know, since I'm generally doing, like, consulting with the shows and stuff like that, um, <laughs> I'm helping run everything, my face, so, yeah. like, the girls generally dip out around like midnight 1 a.m. and then I'm stuck up until like 4 a.m. and they get up at 6 a.m. and then I get up at like 8.45 to run out the door. <laughs> like, so con weekends are rough. Like, it's work. It's one of the things we tell a lot of like, like people who are like, I wanna be a pro cosplayer. And I'm like, okay, great, it's a job. This isn't a hobby. Like, you can have fun and you can love it. And, yeah. and we do. But just like any real business, it is a real business. It's yeah. not, yeah. Uh, I'm feeling a little tired today. I'm not going to, you know, go go frisbee golfing today. You know, it, it, it's not that casual level anymore. It's, well, I'm here to do work. I need to go do work, you know. Okay. So we're trucking right along with the makeup. Okay, Phil says, nice, definite dedication and lots of coffee. <laughs> yeah, right? Lots uh, of Red I, Bulls. Yeah. Well, see, I don't drink coffee. Um, because I don't like the taste of it, because I'm picky. Um, but yes, Red Bulls, I love Red Bulls. I try not to drink them on a normal basis. And talking while trying to do lipstick is very unusual. <laughs> so again, the fun thing with makeup is you can change so much of your facial features. If you notice, you know, I did the chiseled cheekbones, I toned down my nose a little bit more, and with lips, I always, like, this is probably where about my usual, like, my normal lips are. So something about like that, which, not bad. However, again, related damage. Zoom image, Joel, zoom. Oh, zoom. You can really get a good zoom. I'm going to take these guys. Oh. I got to say, when we saw you at the Kickstarter, you know, and I got some pictures. Mm-hmm. And, you know, now that I know kind of who you are a little bit, uh -huh. you you were scary. I mean, <laughs> I know I'm an adult. But Sweet. Like, there was a little bit of scary spookiness to you, so you got the character really good. Hell yeah. Let's see. Uh, Mike says I don't like the taste of coffee either. Plaid Hippo joined. Eddie just joined. Eddie said uh, another side of Sapphire revealed. I know, right? Uh... Banana Cake's in here, Put Playful Grella, Wesley, uh, Red Bullet Cosplay, uh, Scuba Steve, Dusky Draws, It's Jack in the Box, Corellia War Machine, CMB, Billion Letter Numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I put your names, I do it habitually. Well, okay. hello everybody. Let's see, uh, comments more, networking after hours and so important at any convention or event. Uh, Phil says, speaking of networking, will you all be at Sworn Fest? Highly, highly likely. Yes. Um, let's see. Banana Cake Cosplay says, what lipstick do you use? Oh, that's a great question. It is this lovely, it's called Superstay. It's by Maybelline. Um, maybe it's, like, it's her, maybe it's Maybelline. Yeah, exactly. I'm just like doing commercials all day. <laughs> you are. Like, Gosh, I should get paid for this. <laughs> um... No, it's, it's a 24-hour lip stain. I actually really, really like these. Um, mine is really run down, which is why I have to use this. Usually it should just go on like a, like a lipstick. Uh, CK wants to know, how do you keep the lipstick from feathering? So this, this stuff actually, because it is a stain, um, it stays on all day. So I don't have to worry about it feathering or doing any of that kind of stuff. I really like it because it doesn't, like, it doesn't shift. It doesn't do any of this like weird stuff. Um, let's see, Scuba Steve is asking, are you guys getting ready for a con? Um, not today. Well, I mean, kind of. We're at a con. This is Coffin Comics Con online! So, um... Economic con! <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, uh, you know, we're, we're doing something different because of all the concerns lately, and, you know, with ECC... ECCC? How many CCs are in there? Three! <laughs> uh, I mean, more importantly, how many did I say? <laughs> Um, getting canceled, you know, this is kind yeah. of a fun way to, to bring it all together. So. Were you going to go there? 
We were not. Oh. We were not. Uh, we were. No, we weren't going anywhere else. We were doing a shoot or something that week, and I don't. I don't remember. It was more than yesterday. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> I don't remember anymore. Um, it's been a rough week. Yeah. Okay, so looking pretty good as far as makeup goes. Last um, detail. Eddie, how long to get actually. ready? About an hour, two hours. Um, Superman, what are you dressing like? Lady Death. <laughs> Although you guys are going to get the chance here to vote pretty soon on which, which uh, you know, version you want me to wear. So... Actually, Get ready for those thumbs up and comments, folks. I know. So after I put on these lashes, maybe we'll do that while I can still see because next we're coming to contacts. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to. I have to put in her contacts. She, he does. Well, so I'm getting better about putting in contacts, but I don't wear contacts normally. So I only wear specialty contacts for costumes. Um, so you guys are gonna get to see a fun sight because I, you know, I'm very good at putting in contacts. Ha 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 ha. No sarcasm. I've always been freaked out about putting contacts. <laughs> I've never done it before. I just like, well, so especially with this is I have to put everything on first because the contacts, um, they obscure my vision. They're so freaky. And so <laughs> no. once those are in, I can't see subtle details. So like things like, is my paint even? Is my, you know, my eyeshadow blended? Like all of those things, I can't tell well enough once they're in. So I have to do all my makeup first and then pray that I don't cry. <laughs> because if I cry, it's a water-based paint, so I'll have streaks. So, not fun. That'd be kind of cool, actually. <laughs> uh, it's not streaky. Let's see makeup. here. Um, Unicorn Princess joined. Uh, Mind Man Riviera. Uh, let's see. Banana Cakes, you just said she struggles with contacts a lot too. Superman says awesome. Um, Phil says we need to get you all up here in Jersey when all the smoke clears. Totally. We hey. haven't been back to Jersey in a while and would love to go. Um, Chris Vaughn said, did so great at Fiend Fest. Hated not getting your cosplay cover. Who do you think does a good lady death? Uh, obviously, Sam. <laughs> she, she's the official. And hey, Derek, you do a great job too. I do. Thank you. That means <laughs> Derek a lot. Doesn't get enough recognition. I don't get you enough. Know what, like, <laughs> it, you know what? I will say a lot to him. Whereas, you know, I'm doing all this stuff, you know, in the spotlight, in the limelight here. He's done doing all the background stuff. Like, he's the one that makes all this happen because. <laughs> He wasn't running all this stuff. I would be clueless. Social media is extremely time stained. Like, oh, that's all I do. People don't realize how much like I have to do in the background to make all this happen. Because oh, uh, they're like, "Oh, Saf's amazing," and she is, and I love her, <laughs> and that's why I married her. But uh, people often forget like all the, no, um, awesome. just all the contacts, all the phone calls, all the emails. Like you know, just like uh, C.K. Piercy here. Any plans on coming to Orlando? Yes, we would love to go. I've reached out to several cons out there. Um, it's just waiting for cons to hear back. Honestly, the biggest thing I tell everybody all the time, if you want to see us somewhere, message a place there to message me. I always answer my emails okay, immediately. Okay, do you want to do a little uh, okay. you know, competition? Right yeah, now? okay, let's see. So, let's uh, pull up one topic? thing. Yeah. So, okay, so you guys have three choices of chops that I get to wear today. So, we have metal edition. Okay, that's my like armored top. So we've got metal. We've got classic chaos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or we've got now classic coffin. So what do we think, guys? Which one do you think I should wear today? So well, uh, we give you guys a chance to do that. Do you want to put in my contacts? Uh, sure. Could I get you to... Here, I'll, you do that. I'll do this. So, this is one of my other, you know, most commonly asked questions here. How does she get the contacts in then? The well, answer is she doesn't. Uh, I don't know. Um, but, you know, I get the question a lot of, you know, how well can I see in them? I can see okay, but it's basically like a, you know, thick fog has That's rolled so cool. in through the room. Yeah, you can show them. Actually, like, they're kind of cool. They have these little grids on them. So, um, basically what happens oh. is I can see through the grids, but your mind kind of fills in the, uh... It's like a pool filter thing. Yeah, it kind of, you're just, my, your mind fills it in, so it's just, just it. basically, like, white. Like, I'm not seeing, like, the grid pattern. Uh, you guys okay? 
I don't think I can get the resolution on this camera, guys. I'm sorry, but. Well, I'm gonna like freak out. Very... I'm gonna freak out. Economics and comics YouTube. If you really yeah, want to see up close, see how, how crazy they look. Oh wait, 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 wait. It's going <laughs> in and out of focus. Oh, there you go. Boom. So these are. Oh, that's so freaky. I'm gonna freak out. So I know it. This is what's going in, guys. Oh no. Okay. Oh it's god. A whole operation. Uh, oh god. <laughs> I know. Oh, that was good though. Or, oh, it didn't go. Oh, no, no. It did. this is the other part that people don't see. I have to do. I literally have to just like rip her eye open and just kind of like stab Jesus. it down in there. Oh my god! And then I try not to freak out. And then I get some makeup on my hands every time. And that's like, another oh, reason why your you makeup looks good. It's <laughs> another reason why he, he should probably do it. And like I said, Greg, not to cry because uh, it makes my eyes water. <laughs> oh my god! Here, can we see it with but one and one? Oh god, that's so, so crazy. Okay, so let's do it in. Go. I'll come uh, here. Yeah, nice you're probably gonna have to go around. So there's, yeah, there's your eyes. So there's no! Your well, but as you get close, you can see it's still the little grids. So <laughs> the further away you get, the less you see that. Oh man. Okay. Now for the second one. And you guys better be voting on which uh Yeah, which make comments, guys. Here. Drop comments and then we'll uh see what, what we're going with in the end here. Yay, today was a good day. Sometimes it takes us like 20 minutes to get these things in. I know, it is, but I'm going to start crying here. Uh, <laughs> Lift your head back. There you go. I know, but then I'm looking at the light, which makes me want to cry more. So. Do you need a paper towel right now? Uh, That's so freaky. Okay. But ta-da, now I've got eyes. So, our lack thereof. Okay, um, let's see. So we but got... yeah, that's part of the getting ready process. So we're getting pretty close to a uh, lady death time here. Uh, are we starting to... Yeah, okay, so we've had one vote chaos, one vote metal. Uh, what do we got on the SHU page? Uh, I like the second one, whichever that one is. Metal, metal, metal. Everybody's voting metal on, metal? on, on the, the SHU one. Is okay. that the first one? That was the first one. Uh, sounds yeah. good. Okay, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. Cool, that, oh, you know. There's okay. a couple three, but uh, metal wins. Okay, I'm down for metal. You know, we can add some more fun, like, little shoulder shoulders. CK Pierce, he goes, don't look at the light, Carol Ann. Or actually, you know what? I'm not going to These are some of my faves. The you wrist know. gauntlets. Yeah, you know. Again, all made out of warbla. Are you still doing your arm, more arm, or? I am not, because. Gloves? Oh, okay. I have gloves. Oh, yeah. So, you know, there's always fun. I have different forms of gloves, too, which is also kind of cool. Because, like, you know, I've got some classic, like, opera kind of gloves. But, you know, something like this. I've got, these are some of my favorite blue ones. I love these ones. Because this one I would have to do my hands, but not the rest of my arm. Those are ninja gloves. But they are perfect for throwing up the horns. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> And a usually good one. on things like this, I actually have, like, red press-on nails that I'll do. So I've got these, like, nice kind of fang-looking, you know, nice claws. Uh, but I love those ones. So we're not actually putting on the full costume right now, right? We're nope. just letting pick. Yeah, because <laughs> let everybody know what's the next yeah. part. So how are we doing? Uh, Three thirty-one. Fourteen. Oh, cool. Thirteen minutes. We still have some time. Awesome. But yeah, so that's why I'm letting you guys vote on this now. What's gonna happen is once we wrap up here at three forty-five, I'm gonna go put on everything, finish all the final little details, and then we're gonna do a grand unveiling. So it should be a good time, and then you guys will actually get to see, you know, all of this hard work, what really that, that amounted to. And then we're going to do like a little mini photo shoot here in the in Coffin Comics headquarters. So you'll get to see also kind of my mindset, how do I go into a photo shoot? So, you know, a whole different side of things. So it's really going to be pretty awesome. Um, I do want to show you guys also, now that we've kind of, looks like we're heading towards the, uh, metal version, which is pretty cool. I also want to show you guys some things you don't think about. Wigs. So, I have three different Lady Death wigs. I think I will probably go with my fave now. Yeah, big hair, you can't go wrong, right? Isn't she beautiful? I just styled her. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, but I do have a couple others. I have one that kind of demonstrates her her nice center part 
but you know doesn't have quite the height or the volume to it. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how cool it is to put on wigs. I want to see that one because I haven't seen that one yet. Yeah, so this one's a really cool one. Most wigs have these lovely little clips inside. I have a small head, so I'm going to clip this pretty tight. This is kind of weird doing this backwards. <laughs> you can do it frontwards. Yeah. Well, then you guys can't see because I saw it. But it just helps size it for your head so it stays on. It seems that everyone wants the wig with the height, the, 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 the new one you just cool. styled. That's the one I'm going with too. But these ones are really quite simple. You just set it on front and pull it down the back. And she's a whole different person. Look at that. Now I've got hair on. But like I said, this isn't the one I'm going to wear. I'm going to wait to show you that guy till we're all done. But, you know, wigs are fun because you can kind of style with them, play with them, see what they're feeling like today. This one kind of likes to go back more, but... So, again, everyone, we're here for the Coffee Comics Online Con mm -hmm. um, due to all the issues going on. And we are having yeah, a fantastic <laughs> time. We are currently in HQ itself. Something. But the home of Coffin Comics, as notated by all of the Coffin Comic shops, the skulls. <laughs> in case you, know, you didn't get it, in, in, in case it wasn't beaten to you hard enough. Um, <laughs> That's what um, she said. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but I think, oh, someone, someone said watching gets their head itchy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? It's really not that bad. Like, as you get used to it more and more, like. Well, you have the net on, that helps because. I've done it before. I was uh, the uh, Pi May from Kill Bill. Uh -huh. And I, I, Halloween, I fully went character. <laughs> but I had the wig like that, and that was, it was itchy. Yeah. I, I didn't have anything underneath. Yeah, I know my power. I it, does, like, it just helps keep everything contained. And then, you know, it does give you, like, something. Like, I don't typically put pins, in, like, hairpins or bobby pins or any of that into my wigs. But on my head, it just kind of stays. So that's nice. <laughs> Well, unless, uh, like, you're Space Yoko, you gotta do the pin curls and everything. Yeah. And, and well, so, boo. Like, if they have, like, a back, you know, back weight, I will actually have to do pin curls so that it has something to, like, grab onto so that the back weight of the wig doesn't pull it off. But luckily for Lady Death, they're all pretty, you know, standard. So the, the height and all the volume is here, not back here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's continue yeah. with the Build a Lady Death. Let's build a Lady Death! It's like Build a Bear, but with Lady Death, folks. Okay. So we have cape choices. So I have a beautiful blue. Ooh. I do have to say I love the satin. That's of dope. This one. Yep. Here it's got some beautiful colors. <laughs> Give it a sec, because every time you bring out that big swath of color, uh -huh. the camera has to try to refocus oh. on you. <laughs> this is just me playing. <laughs> okay. <All right. laughs> it just fades out, and then it's like, oh, focus. Or as you know, a lot of people do, you've got a nice red. I do like the contrast of the red. With lipstick, yeah. But, you know, so like, that's the fun thing about Lady Death is she's so diverse, especially in her costumes, that there's so many fun, different, you know, pieces that all say Lady Death. Okay, so, so hold on, hold on. So, what folks. What are you picking, blue or red? Yeah, vote. I picked need, blue. Okay. What, 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 what do you, well, don't tell us what you want. I won't say. Okay. What do you want, Joel, because blue or red? There is one that, well. Uh, what, did you, what did you do for the last one? I think she was red well, last time. Well, I, I wore red to the, oh, the Kickstarter maybe last time. Maybe blue this time. They're saying blue in mine, just if it uh, matters. I'm getting at one blue, uh, Geeky Chief. Yes, I'm good. We might see you at PFF. Uh, yeah, DCG, I'll be there. Uh, black and blue is beautiful. Let's see, all about the, Phil says red, blue. Seems to be the winner though, folks. Sorry. Yay! Blue, blue, blue. So, continuing on our right. build, build, a, build a Lady Death adventure. Uh, well, you know what? The cool thing with metal version here is I can play with a couple different options. So, do we want to do some beautiful my bracers here? So, you know, some tough stuff. I'll let you do a little demonstration. That's so cool. Something like this. That's cool. Yeah. With your black gloves, right? Yeah. Yeah. Of course, I'm gonna have gloves on underneath this. But again, you don't get to see it all until the reveal. Or I can do something a little more, you know, Ooh, I like the first sexy one. and delicate, or you know, hard. Okay, so so this is that's that's number so, one option. This is number one. Okay. Number one option. 
Number two option. Okay, oh, so let's see see what you guys think. Option one or two. I want you to Type know it in, this, folks. This is the kind of stuff that I have to go through, you know, planning each con or each event. Which do I want to wear? We got do two I and one wear? so far. You know, am yep. I going to go full metal? Am I going to go classic? Am I going to go... So, you know, it's fun. I actually designed a lot of my Lady Death with this exact process in mind, where a lot of my pieces are interchangeable. So it's really fun that way because I can, you know, create so many different looks with the same pieces, you know, whether or not today am I going to wear leg armor, am I going to wear, you know, a bracer, which gloves am I going to wear, you know, all those kind of fun things. So it really is cool to be able to, you know, build a lady dad, so to speak. Okay, so option um, one seems to be the answer here. We're a tie over here at two, uh, like two and one for us. I've so. got like five for bracer one. So and one for Bracer 2. Yep. Okay. Going okay. with those ones. So we've got these guys so far. We've got my metal. I'm going to set these kind of aside. I know you can't see them on the, the, the live stream, but yeah, that's what we're done. Okay. okay. We got blue okay. and black cape for yeah. sure. Yeah. Blue and black cape. Modular Lady Death. Exactly, CK. I know. I would throw these ones off. Unfortunately, they only go with the red cape. Because there's a special, there's a little Velcro on them. Mm -hmm. That's how they attach the red cape. So blue cape doesn't have them. So sorry, we're gonna have to put these ones aside for today. Um, let's see. Do we want to go garter belt? Oh God, I don't even care what the next option is. <laughs> <laughs> we have metal belt. Okay, so garter or metal belt, folks. <laughs> I'm you know what I garter all the way for me. <laughs> Already tapping out, you just like garter done. She didn't have to go any further. Let's okay, see what folks. my guys say here too. Okay, so we got one vote garter. Uh, what what about you, Instagram? Where are we going? Garter or metal belt? Got a gar another garter. Garter, garter, two garters, three garters. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think uh, Garter is what we're going with. Sweet. Thank you. Then, <laughs> that actually One metal. answers the... Uh, garter Belt. Yep, Garter Belt wins. Cool, so you guys yes. actually... There's a growing pile. Already, I know, right? <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, so that kind of already answered the next question because I do have two different pairs of Lake Death shoes. However, one of them goes with the Garter Belt, which are these guys. That's sick. So we're gonna go with those guys, but I do actually have a full pair of high boots as well. <laughs> you can tell they have been worn by with Lady Death many times because I don't know how well you can see it at home, but there's lovely little white white streaks on it. <laughs> they bought it. Oh, this is slightly tinted white over the years. Okay, but that. Um, okay, next question. This is just a yes or no question. For the leg armor. I can put those right over the other boots. They wrap around quite nicely. So what do we think? Leg armor, yay or nay? I say nay. Okay, so we've got one nay. So They're yes dope, though. or no. <laughs> okay, we've got a yes, <laughs> one yes, one no. We have to go. We'll see okay. you guys. Okay, see you. We'll reveal a little yep. bit. Yep. Spent the last couple of panel sessions on Coffin, Comics TV, Becoming Lady Death. And how was that experience? It was wonderful. Uh, a lot of the fiends chimed in. They actually got to build a Lady Death today. They oh, actually got to okay. choose what I was wearing today. Wow. 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 Lady Death's not this used is, to giving people choice. I know. This is, uh, you know, by the fiends for the fiends. Hell yeah, that's right. Well, welcome. We're in uh, what is normally the Coffin Comic Shop, and we're going to continue our panel, and uh, we're going to see if uh, we behave in Lady Death's eyes. If not, <laughs> it's off with our heads. Okay, <laughs> beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. So we're in the middle of talking about the pop.